Hello, my dear students. This is Professor Dr. Satish Polsitivar from MIT World Peace University School of Pharmacy, Pune, India. Today, we will discuss a topic from Computer Aided Delivery Systems, the Parameter Sensitivity Analysis. So, let us discuss about this topic. We will begin with this topic now. So, first, we will talk about what is sensitivity analysis. The word sensitivity means we have to just analyze the data, we have to sensitize the data is to indicate the sensitivity of simulation to uncertainties in the input value of the model. Okay? In pharmaceutical field, in computational modeling, we usually uh, determine, we usually uh, develop the model, the computational model that need to be validated, that need to be sensitized in order to get a proper outcome. Okay? Because the, we are putting the raw data, the outcome is very uncertain, we don't know what kind of prediction, what kind of data we are getting. Okay, so need to be identified, need to be analyzed properly. We have to sensitize data in order to accept uh, such a model in regulatory bodies. Okay, sensitivity analysis determine how different values of our independent variables affect a particular dependent variables under the given set of assumption. Because in pharmaceutical field, we, we mostly prepare the doses form, we mostly prepare drug delivery systems. Okay, we need to take different uh, excipients, different uh, pharmaceutical aids, and we have to see the impact of that all the ex excipients on your dependent variables. That is, dependent variables mostly we take uh, your drug release pattern, dissolution pattern, then their disintegration time, then hardness time. We need to measure all this uh, output. So, through this model, we can predict the things properly. In other words, sensitivity analysis study how various sources of uncertainty in mathematical model contribute to a model overall uncertainty. This technique is used within specific boundaries that depend on one or more input variables. So, sensitivity analysis is a method of predicting the outcome of a decision if a situation turn out to be different compared to the key predictions. This we can do it with the this analysis methods. Sensitivity analysis allow for forecasting and predicting using historical and true data. Okay, you have the database. Okay, from the database, we are applying the different tools. Then we are getting the results. That data we have to analyze it. We have to sensitize it. Okay, we have to validate it by studying all the variables and the possible outcome. Important a decision can be made about doses form design, root of administration. Okay, one can decide which particular doses form I need to be further go ahead which route of admission I should select for that. So, this model will give, uh, this simulation model will give idea about all these inputs. Then what is parameter sensitivity analysis? Simply just we have seen, okay, we can also predict the effect of solubility on pharmacokinetic properties. You all know the solubility parameters. As per the BCS class, we have the four class of BCS, BCS1, BCS2, BCS3, BCS4 based on solubility and permeability some that is class 4 is highly soluble and class 4 is we call as the ideal class where the drug is highly soluble and highly permeable such class is ideal for the making any decision so we can predict number of uh, their absorption all these things this can be helpful in devising methods such as exipients role salt formulation co-solvent permeability enhancer to overcome absorption and viability limitation so one parameter is varied at a one time all other parameters are held at their baseline value. Okay, so these uncertainties impose on limit of a confidence in the response of output models. Why it is necessary? We have been discussed now. Okay, determine the impact of variables under sensitivity analysis can be useful for a range of purposes, including testing of robustness of the results of model of system of presence of uncertainty. In also SPLC method, UV spectrophotometry method, we always. Uh, validate that technique then and only people will accept that methods increase understanding about that uh, relationship between the input and output variables in a system of model then uncertain uncertainty reductions we can reduce the uncertainty through the identification of model input that cause significant uncertainty in the output and should therefore be focus of attention in order to increase robustness perhaps by further research searching for errors in the model by encountering unexpected relationship between input and output. We can simplify the model, a fixing model input that have no effect on the output or identifying and removing the reductant parts of the model structures. We know there is some part which is not been needed. We can just remove that model and we can keep it uh, specified things in our model. 
so enhancing communication from the modular or decision maker okay by making recommendation more credible understandable and compelling and persuasion finding regions in the space of input factor for which model output is either maximum or minimum of to meet or some optimal criteria okay these are the things we need to understood in uh, this parameter sensitivity to seek identify important connection between observation model input prediction forecast leading to the development of better models so these are some important necessary things for the parameter sensitivity analysis this is a simple uh, diagram where we can understood we have the different so many errors input error we are putting that error into the data through simulation model okay that can be corrected through certain parameters when whatever the data you are getting or result you are getting outcome you are getting that is always uncertain so that need to be sensitized properly in order to get a proper things so what are different types of sensitivity analysis we can do it at oet model that is one at a, a time we can modulate one parameter and we can see the effect of others we can modulate one by one and you can see the effect of others okay so one of the simplest and most common approaches in that is changing one factor at one time to see what effect to this produce on the output so oet is nothing but the customarily involved moving one enable input variables keeping other at their baseline okay so these are the things we usually monitor hmm, in which can be done by linear regression method partial derivative method we usually take the regression analysis for that we have the variance confidence region uh, we did usually take the p value for that so many statistical tools are there where we can analyze this data so different uh, examples uh, parameters that can be varied uh, in pharmaceutical uh, drug delivery systems uh, pbpk model we mostly use a cat model that is called as advanced compartment absorption transit time models where we consider the entire your body system from oral cavity when you when you are going to administer the drug through oral route we need to consider your uh, stomach the stomach has different ph in fat condition ph is 1.2 unfat condition ph is 1.2 and fat condition ph is 3.4 then it goes to your intestine then colon you need to understood the length of that colon length of intestine intrahepatic circulation absorption transit time this need to be considered then acat compounds you have to see whether drug is going to be enter enterocytes how much drug is going to bound with the proteins then transit time then we need to consider log d that is partition coefficient very important hmm. then model coefficient absorption scale fraction in gi tract then we need to understood the compound history whether it is have a high soluble molecules or not whether it is have that probability or not transports whether it is going to be a transport to certain carriers or not we have different proteins 3gp proteins uh, sorry we we have different influx and outflux proteins a transporters we call oct model we have 3gp cytochrome 450 so many enzymes transports are there you need to understood the log d also then need to understood about formulation aspects that can be varied okay dosing frequency we can change and we can see the effect on that then manufacturing facilities manufacturing point of view also need to understood particle size particle volume their molecular weight molecular size this need to be understood because directly that impact on your output if particle size get varied then your output would be varied so need to understood the we can optimize all these things through this model then we turn understood we need to understood pharmacokinetic model also their clearance physiology intrahepatic circulation all these things thank you